Hey everyone, welcome to the show. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Um, my name's David. I'm here to show you guys my gear for the Annapurna Trail. The trail is located in Nepal. Um, yeah, I begin the trail, I don't know, sometime next month, but I'm flying into the country with my friend Bradley and we're gonna do some sitting, some meditating for some time and then hopefully be able to do some hiking. The Annapurna Circuit is what it's called. It's like 145 miles long. I hear it's fairly simple. It's, it's very high altitudes. It gets up to, I don't know, definitely over 7,000 feet, perhaps. I wanna say closer to like, there's some peak that's like 17,000 feet. I don't know, I'm probably wrong. I need to do more research, but I've got the gear. So that's what I'm gonna show you. Yeah, so let's just dive right in, see what I got. First, the hat. Shout out to Gossamer Gear. This is a sweet hat. It's black. I like the color black. I'll be wearing this a vast majority of the time, I'm sure. Also, I'll show you this. This is fun. This is a fanny pack. I'll be wearing this around my waist, my fanny. And I've got some stuff in here I can show you guys. This, this is a brick. Um, I'm bringing my phone, which is currently recording me, but this will help to charge the phone. I'm hoping. I've never used it. Um, it's Mophie brand. It's supposed to give me like four additional charges. It's pretty heavy. Um, we'll see how useful this is. I'm, I'm hoping this works. Cheers. <laughs> ah, a wallet, a lightweight wallet. This is Hyperlite Mountain Gear. It's my favorite wallet. I use this in the city as well. You got some cards here, some identifications here. And some fives, some fives. Um, apparently there is no ATM on the Honor Purna circuit. So I'll have to withdraw a bunch of cash and just carry that around. So I feel safe with that in my fanny. Um, I think that'll do me good. Let's see what else I got here. Bandana. This will keep me safe. Safe. I don't know. This will keep me dry. Um, I'll use this for cleaning myself. Got a hiker to town for the PCT. It's an old bandana. I'm stoked to bring it. Ah, an iPhone charger. This will be necessary to charge the phone. I think that's it. That's the fanny. It's a Waterfly, really cheap on Amazon, like 10, 15 bucks. Let's move on to the bag. Well, what's in the bag? This is a Frisbee, big kahuna branded, something like 200 grams, I don't know. Yeah, 200 gram model, pretty heavy, flies well, you know, just in case fun activities arise. You gotta have some fun out there. These are trekking poles. Uh, I'll use these not only for trekking, but for setting up the tent. Um, they're Fizan brand. I heard about these from a blog that I follow. It's called the, the Hiking Life. He also has a strong Instagram presence. His name's Cam. And he highly recommended these. So I got these shipped over internationally. They're made in Italy. Uh, haven't used them yet, other than to set up my tarp, or my tent, rather. But they look light. They feel light. They look strong. So, hoping for good things there. Alright, this guy right here. This is my sleeping pad and my sit mat. It's a... Uh, a Thermarest Z Light pad. It's pretty used, pretty worn, but you know, it's what I got, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> I've cut it in half, so you can tell it's usually these come twice as thick, twice as tall. But um, I've cut it in half. Really, I only I found that I only need. It's, it's quite common with hikers that I only need enough padding for my shoulders down to my hips. I don't need um, anything below that for sleeping at least. Um, if I do, I'll, I'll lay my backpack down at my feet 
and put my feet on top of my pack. That way new blood flow comes into my legs and I'm able to recover. So yeah, this is for sleeping and sitting. This is nice. Um, we'll work our, we'll go to the pack next. This is, this is a Hyperlite Mountain Gear pack. Um, it looks really nice. I really enjoy it. Um, it's the Wind Rider uh, 3400 is the name of the uh, model. It's pretty full right now, as you can tell. And I don't know how heavy it is. It's not too bad, but you know, there's no food, there's no water in this pack right now, and it's already pretty tall. I've got a lot of clothes. Um, I might end up shedding a lot of that stuff. So next, move on to what's outside on the pack, what I've got strapped to the outside. Here we got some uh, some Jesus sandals right there. These are Zero brand, that's with an X, Zero. Uh, these are barefoot, minimalist type shoes. They really don't weigh a lot. It's just a piece of rubber, probably less than half a pound put together, maybe half a pound put together. Um, so yeah, these will be for along the Annapurna circuit. There's all these uh, tea houses is what they call them. So while we will likely be camping out a good amount, apparently these tea houses are every few miles and people eat breakfast there, they eat dinner and even lunch sometimes. I think they're pretty frequent, but I'll wear these around the tea houses, around the camp, uh, just as a, give my feet some air, give them a break. They'll probably stink, but I think so will everyone else there. So it shouldn't be too big of a problem. <laughs> Got some pack towels here. You know, I don't know. This one might last. This is a Sea to Summit pocket towel. Just for drying off my wet body. I don't know. Or like using as a napkin. This again is another pack towel. Maybe I'll give this to Bradley if he if he doesn't already have one. Don't know. Moving on. Oh, this is clutch. You guys, this is my spoon. If I can get it off my bag. This is a Sea to Summit spoon. It's titanium, super lightweight. Check it out. Um, I've owned this for like four or five years. And I love it. I wouldn't, it's the only piece of silverware I own. And wouldn't trade it for the world. Hope it survives. Next, you know, maybe I'll explain this pack really briefly, right? So it's got mesh pockets on the front. It's really nice, has a ton of room here. And sorry, my battery's low, okay. And so there's a ton of room and you can also see what you're, you know, reaching in for. They have another model, I forget what it's called, but it's completely covered, can't see anything. It's got a roll top right here. So this actually extends a little bit further up or it can roll down as well. And I'll get to that in a sec, but I'll show you these. It's got some hip belt pockets right here. Pretty substantial. Um, this is an older pack. Well, no, no, no. I think this is one of the newer ones. So I do think these, they've increased the size of these hip belts. Um, in one hip belt, I've got the headlamp. So this headlamp is Black Diamond, and this is the Storm, I believe is the name of this um, model. Yeah, this is nice. It's got a good beam. It's got a good battery. That's all you need. Moving on, the other hip belt pocket. This thing, okay, this is a Cam Kicks. But what it does is it takes pictures and video. It starts the video automatically on my phone so that I can take selfies, I guess, and videos and not have to touch the screen. That's nice. We'll see if I use that. Next, we got some earphones, personal listening, and that bug head net. This will drape over my head for any swarms that come my way. You just put this on, you're good to go, protected, boom.
I thought I had something else. Ah, yes, the final item in the hip belt is the knife. This is a Gerber, Gerber brand knife. I don't know, it's like the lightest weight one they have. Check it out. You can find them on Amazon for a few bucks or REI, something like that. But this is mainly for opening up packages, opening things up. You know, it's a knife, does knife things, cutting, slicing. Very nice, very sleek. I don't know how, if this is gonna make it over, if this will, they'll allow me, <laughs> if they're gonna allow me to take this on the plane. I don't think so, but we'll see. Maybe I'll have to get another one of these in Nepal. Um, and that's another thing I've heard that, you know, close to Kathmandu, close to the trail, they have shops that sell hiking gear fairly cheap. So if I did forget anything, I'll just get it there. Um, when I arrive. All right, let's get into the pack. Ugh. First things first, I got a, a garbage bag in here to keep everything dry. Just an extra layer of protection. Here's my bathroom. We got floss, we got a comb, we got toothpaste, we got a toothbrush, and we got some of those ear things you put in your ears to clean them. Cotton swabs? What do you, I don't know, I forget what you call those. Got some of those. Next, we got, this is kind of like the electronics department right here. Uh, we got another charger. Maybe Bradley wants that. I don't know if that'll last. We got a couple more headphones. I keep a podcast. Um, and I bought, I bought a splitter so that two headphones can connect into it. And maybe I can record some podcasts on the trail. Not really sure. I've also got some wool. It's good for starting fire. And some paper and a pen. So that's the miscellaneous department. Next, some stuff sacks. These are Gossamer Gear brands, really nice. Um, yeah, highly recommend these. This is my down jacket, the North Face brand, boom. It's a, so this is a thermoball material. It's not actually made of down, this is synthetic. I wore this on the last trail that I did, uh, the Pacific Crest Trail back in 2015. And it's, this did the job, so I'm counting on it. It's gonna be cold in Nepal. Um, yeah, so I brought some warm gear, but I'm hoping that does it for me. We'll see. Okay, next, we got some rain stuff. Rain pants. Uh, what brand are these real quick? I don't know. Uh, oh, Low Alpine. I found these in a hiker box and got them for free and they're very unfashionable, very baggy, but they do the trick. It's rain and I don't want it on me. I'd rather have it on these pants. Next, I've got the Marmot jacket, Marmot rain jacket. This is nice, it kind of stinks right now, but this does the job. I don't know what brand this is or what uh, model, but this is Marmot. Really like this. I like the color blue. That's that. What do we got? Ah, some clothes. I got a lot of clothes here. Socks. These are all Darn Tough brand. Uh, highly recommend Darn Tough. It's the only sock I'll ever need. If they get holes in them, I mail them back and they send me new ones. It's lifetime guarantee. Really nice, really amazing. Cheers. Thanks, darn tough. Next, we got some gloves. These gloves are REI brand. And I think I bought them because like they have these fingers and you can touch your screen with the finger through the glove, but it doesn't actually work. Um, but I, so I, I still have the gloves. I don't know, maybe I need some new ones. We'll see. They're not they're not super warm, but they cover my hands. That's about as good as I can get right now. <laughs> All right, next. These are gaiters. 
black diamond brand. These will go over my ankles, over my shoes to protect dirt and rocks from getting in my shoes. There's another one for both feet. All right, let's see what else we got. Compression shirt and compression pants. Where are those at? Boom. Nike and Under Armour, I believe. This is just for should spontaneous activities arise in which I need um, some athletic wear. Um, could provide some added warmth too. I like these. All right, next. We've got, this is a base layer right here. This is my main base layer, long sleeve. Uh, REI brand, synthetic. Again, I've got another base layer, synthetic. Usually I do wool, but this one should be really warm. I've been wearing this at home and I'm stoked. It's just like a, I don't know, I think I brought it on Amazon. Heat tech. Heat technology. It'll be on my body, so big fan. The beanie. So this beanie, this is the North Face beanie. This will go over my head like this. It'll protect my ears. And finally, this balaclava. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have heard of these, but these will go straight over my head. And it'll, I'll look kind of like a, you know, someone who's robbing a bank or something. I'll show it to you real quick. It looks like this, you know, protect the nose, protect the face, kind of like you're a, I don't know, kind of looks a, a bank robbery, but this is good. All right, next we got more clothes. What do you know, more clothes? All right, honestly, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna, the video's already getting really long. Um, I don't think I'm gonna go through this whole thing, but this is like underwear, uh, shirts, pants, shorts. I wrote a blog post about this. I'll put the link in the description where you can read it more about these unique individual items. But for now, it's just a big bag of clothes so we can move on. Next, the kitchen. All right, you guys, this is a Tokes pot. Let's dig in. Here we have my gas canister. This is jet boil. It's like four ounces, yeah, of gas. This should last a week, I don't know. I'll have to keep getting these if I'm not eating at the tea houses. Also, lighter, emergencies, sponge cleaning the Tokes pot. The stove itself, boom. This is the MSR pocket rocket. And this is the pot. This is the Tokes pot. I think it's like 200 mil, 2000 milliliters. Um, it's really nice. You know, it'll cook a lot of food for one person. It'll cook just enough food for two people. Um, so I'm a big fan of this. Oh, this is the 1300 milliliters. So, yeah, lightweight cook pot. All right, let's see what else we got. Uh, oh, this is the Gossamer Gear tent. Okay, you guys, this is a sick tent. Um, I've camped out in it in my backyard a couple times in the last couple months. And yeah, just a big fan, super lightweight. I got stakes in here. Um, yeah, I'm just stoked to finally have my own shelter. This is not something I've ever had before. Last time I did a trail, I shared a tarp with my hiking partner, which was nice. The tarp, the tarp life's a good life, but to have the privacy of a tent will be a game changer. So cheers. Thank you, Gossamer Gear. Let's see what else we got. We're getting down to the final items, you guys. Two more items. This is some... Tyvek is what this is called. Uh, this is a ground sheet. This will just be spread out on the ground. I'll put everything on top when I'm sleeping outside. The final item I'm bringing. Uh, all right, you guys. It's buried deep down in here. All right. This is the REI Magma bag. Check that out. REI Magma. 
It's big. This is a, I believe a 10 degree sleeping bag. I, I, it might've been online, it might've said 20, but I've, I sleep so warm in this thing. It's, it's, a, it's amazing. Um, yeah, it's a bit heavy. It's nearly three pounds, but I don't like to sacrifice uh, weight for warmth. I like to be warm, so. You guys, that's it. Um, that's the gear I leave to the Annapurna. Well, I leave to Nepal in, I think four days now. So we're getting down to the wire. Um, things I didn't mention are a passport. I've got that. Um, I might need like some other random things. Um, but hopefully I can get all that when I get to Nepal. And yeah, wish me luck on the trail and hope you enjoyed this video. Cheers.